Hey, hello, I'm Ebenezer Don and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since we've gotten together and talked face to face, but I've been working on a lot of things lately. If you're new to this channel, I'm Ebenezer Don and I talk about software engineering in general and I create courses and tutorial videos around JavaScript, Python and Rust. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you watched my video before and you've not subscribed yet, Come on, why? Help me get to 1K subscribers already. Today, we're going to be talking about junior developers. I want to tell you how you can know a junior dev. I've been working with junior developers a lot lately. So here are a few things I want to share. And if you're a junior developer and you're watching this, this is not to shame you in any way. No, a lot of things I'm going to mention here are things I've done myself so relax as uh, this is an opportunity to learn and deliberately change now first things first junior developers like to show off have you seen the junior developer junior developers want you to think that they are senior developers so they like to pretend like they're senior developers in their codes and everything else. They try really hard to write complex codes. So they combine everything into one line, something that's more readable when broken down into multiple lines. You see them, they're, they're proud of themselves when they take um, like 10 lines and put it together and make it one long line of code. In their mind, they think that when you see this code, you say, oh, this person is a badass developer. He knows his stuff this person knows what he's doing because I don't understand or what I can see. So do you know if a whole band or what you do think that they're senior devs, they like pretending a lot and they like doing things that will make them look like senior devs, only they don't know what senior devs actually do. So by the time you finish watching this video, hopefully you'll be able to pretend a lot better. Junior devs also brag about very opponents that are not easy to understand. So you see junior developer wants to name um, a variable and they just jumble up letters X, T, Y, S, R and say, oh, this is my variable name. Because to them, they are the only ones who are supposed to understand their code. They don't want any other person to easily understand it because they think that that's what senior developers do. That's what be the senior devs like, writing code that are complex and too difficult to understand. So they don't pause to think about variable names. You don't name a variable to them. It's, it's not part of the important aspects of writing code. All they just want to do is make something work. I want to get this and I want this to work um, wherever I want. I want this to run well without the errors. So they don't pause to think about their variable names. They don't pause to think that this is actually important. And when you point it out to them, they still don't get it. I understand these things take time to accept. You have to do it deliberately. The junior dad hate following a recommended style guide. To them, it's a complete waste of time. Why should you spend so much time creating a style guide for us? Um, I want to write it my own way. I want to do it um, with the idea I have in my head. Just this pattern that's unique to me. I want I want people to look at this code and they know I'm the one that wrote it. You know, I want this pattern to be mine. Or oh, I leave JavaScript, I go to another language. I want my own pattern. I'm not ready to look at any recommended style guide or convention. I want to do this my own way. You see that junior devs are like that a lot. They hate following a recommended style guide. To them, it's a waste of time. They want their signature in their code. You have to know that this is mine i have to do it this particular way whether you like it or not another thing junior devs don't like to test their code they claim it's unnecessary so you see a junior dev and you hear about testing your code and they're like oh, why should i go through all that why should i test my code why should i write code and then test it this is a waste of time as long as my code is working well that's okay with me i'm fine with that so you see junior devs hate the idea of writing tests for their code to them it's a complete waste of time. Here's another way you can know a junior dev. Junior devs hate to admit when they copy code from Stack Overflow or Google. They hate to look like they don't know what they're doing. So you look at this code and you tell them, this, this is, are you the one who wrote this code? Can you explain it? Where did you get this code from? They hate to tell you that they got their code from somewhere else. They hate to tell you that they had help. They don't want you to think they are weak. They don't want you to, th to think they are junior devs. 
those who think they are not knowledgeable. So they brag about not even um, reading any other person's code, not even getting ideas from anywhere else. They brag about being able to get all their ideas from their own head. Another way you can know a junior dev is that when they have a problem, if you're with a junior dev and a junior dev runs into a problem, um, a bug or something, they are not going to search for that problem in your front or ask you a question. So a junior dev um, has a problem, is not going to search for that problem. Go to Google and search and say, oh, I, I'm trying to find it. Or they're not going to ask you, do you have um, any solution to this? Do you have any ideas that could help me? Or a junior dev would rather stay there and stare at the screen being stuck than search for errors on Google or ask questions in front of another developer because they don't want you to think they are weak. They don't want to look weak in front of you. They don't want you to think that they are not knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough. So this is another thing that junior devs do a lot. Another way you can know a junior dev uh, when working in a team is they hate meetings that have to do with the product requirement. All they want to do is write code. Just give me the task and I'll write code and it will work. That's my role. Why should we have to meet to discuss um, about the product in general or about how my task is going to help the product as a whole or anything? Just give me this task and let me push my code and that's that for me. So the hate meetings I have to do with discussing product requirements, um, about the task, asking about your progress and all that. They hate that. Just give me the task, let me write the code and let me push. And that's my own and I'm done for the day. Another way you can know junior dev, junior devs that work with Git and GitHub. They don't think about their commit messages. To them, it's a waste of time. So to junior devs, a lot of these little things that senior developers do are a waste of time. Only that they don't know. They don't know that these are the things that senior developers do. So they think it's a waste of time. When you say, oh, you have to think about this variable name, they think it's a waste of time. You have to think about your commit messages. They think it's a waste of time. The, to them, um, as long as I have my code in my computer and I have my code on GitHub and it's working, I'm good. That's all for me. Junior devs think that a lot of these little things, this little effort that developers put in, that are recommended, are a waste of time. When you tell a junior dev, you have to think about this commit message properly. You have to write it in a way that it covers everything you've done. To them, no, that's a waste of time. Another way you can do junior devs is junior devs brag about sleepless nights. They think that that is a way you know that they are senior developers, that they are programmers, and they have sleepless nights and they'll brag like, oh, I spent all night working. I spent all night trying to fix a bug. This is what I do. This is what we do as programmers. So to them, it's an achievement. When you spend all night working, all night trying to fix a bug, all night trying to do this, you don't get enough sleep, you don't get enough rest. To them, it's an achievement. They said they'll be bragging about it. Like, I'm a studio dev, uh, I'm a real programmer. I don't sleep, I don't rest, I don't have time for my family, I don't have time for relationships with my loved ones. They don't, to them, it's an achievement to not have time, to, uh, um, to not have time, to not take care of themselves, to have sleepless nights. To junior devs, it's an achievement. Junior devs also think that code indentation is a waste of time. So when you tell a junior dev to indent their codes properly, um, you have to write this well, indent properly, they're like, this is a waste of time. I don't want to write code that you can understand. The code is for me and the computer. So as long as I understand it, and as long as it's running on the computer, I'm fine. So this is how you go. This is a very good way to make junior developer. Junior developers like to fight about programming languages or which programming language is better. Oh, this is better than this. Oh, this is not better than this one. I use this one. So I'm the best. I'm the best programmer because I use this particular language. They like to fight about programming languages. That's a good way you can know it in your dev. Oh, well, JavaScript is better than PHP. Oh, PHP is better than Python. Oh, this is better than this. React, Vue, and all the rest. You see them, they're always fighting about programming languages. They don't understand that these languages, these frameworks are just tools for developers to use. To them, these languages and frameworks are countries, so they hold on to one and pay all their allegiance to that one. And uh, whenever someone says anything bad about a particular language that they like, oh, you see them fighting. Uh, this is my own. This is not your own. My own is the better one. Yours is the worst and all that. Junior devs always like to prove that they are better than other people, that the language they are writing with is better than others, that the framework they are using is better than others. Junior devs like to fight about 
programming languages. Whenever you see someone fighting about a programming language, uh, this is better than this, this is better than this in general, you know that uh, this is a junior developer. And I'm not pointing all this out because uh, they are very bad. I've done a lot of these things myself. I see people do them every day. So it happens. These are not things that um, can just change um, with the snap of a finger. These are not things that can just change in a day. It's time. That's why um, it takes experience and time to grow from being a junior developer. It's not something that can happen in a day. So relax. I've mentioned all these things so that you know, and then you deliberately try to work on them. So you have to be deliberate about a lot of these things I mentioned. And then if you want to pretend like a senior developer, or watch this video again and write the points down so you pretend properly. These are some other ways you can know a junior developer and it's not wrong to be a junior developer. It's totally fine that these things are things that happen naturally. These are the things that happen to a lot of people. So it takes time to grow out of these characters. It takes time to grow into the right ones, um, following conventions, style guides, writing your code, understanding that it's a good thing to make your code readable, um, thinking about variable names, comic messages, testing your code and all that. It takes time to understand that these things are important. So as a junior developer, relax. Just take note of all these things and try to work on them. If you like my content, if you like this video, help me out and hit the like button. You know why I hit the like button? Because you like the video. And then the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that you'll be the first to know when I release a new video. Are there any other ways you can identify a new developer? Let me know in the comments section. See you.